today's video i'll be doing this challenge lab build and secure networks in google cloud so this is a challenge scenario a security consultant brought by jeff who owns a small local company to help him with his very successful website juice shop so website name is juice shop io and this jeff is new to google cloud and he hired his neighbor's son set up the initial site neighbor's son has since had to leave for college but before leaving he made sure the site was running we need to help out jeff and perform appropriate configuration for security so this is how the current setup is done it is having one main vpc inside vpc there are two subnets acme management subnet and acme hub subnet each subnet is hosting a vm instance and admin is having access to both of his uh, vm instance and customers can access this uh, juice shop via http so this is the current setup so let's understand what's our challenge so here we need to configure this simple environment securely the first challenge is to set up appropriate firewall rules and virtual machine tags you also need to ensure that ssh is only available to the bastion via iap so we have to ensure that this ssh connection is available only for this bastion and we have to remove this ssh for this juice shop and also set up firewall rules and virtual machine tags for this for the firewall rules make sure the bastion host does not have a public ip address so we have to ensure that this specific host does not have any public ip address later you can only ssh to the bastion and only via iap this one we have to ensure that it is having only ssh you can only ssh to juice shop via the bastion this iap right from your uh, you are able to ssh to juice shop but we have to change this configuration and ssh should be enabled from bastion to juice shop so this connection we have to enable here next only http is open to the world for juice shop okay this is already there and the final setup should look like this so let's start the lab first we need to check the firewall rule and remove the overly permissive rules so let's go here go to vpc network under vpc network you can find the firewall so here you can find one firewall rule so let's see what is this first so this is having open access and the ip ranges it is having 0.0.0.0, .0 so it allows all ip ranges so it allows access to all ip ranges so we have to remove this so click on this and delete now this open access rule is deleted so let's go back and check the progress now this is complete so we have removed the ex extra overly permissive rules next navigate to compute engine in the cloud console and identify the best you can host the instance should be stopped start the instance so let's go to compute engine compute engine here you can see there are two instances bastion and juice shop so bastion is in stop state so, so select this and click on start a resume so we are starting this bastion server now this instance is started so let's go back to our page so you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now next we need to create a firewall rule so let's go back to our firewall under firewall rule page click on create firewall rule so we need to create a firewall rule that allows ssh from the iap service so give some name as ssh iap rule you can provide any name as per your wish then under network select the network hackme vpc and see this diagram this is a vpc network name is acme iphone vpc so we have to use that vpc name next direction of traffic will be ingress and under targets targets we need to select specified target tags under target tags so the here they have mentioned we need to use this network tag so copy this network tag and paste your source ipv4 ranges so to get that source ipv4 ranges you can click on this so here you can see the ip ranges to allow ingress traffic from the ip range so this range will contain all ip address that iap uses for tcp forwarding you have to use this ip range so copy this paste it here so under tcp we have to provide port as 22 so select tcp protocol and give port 22 click on create as you can see this firewall rule is now created uh, once the firewall rule is created again we need to update our um, instance bastion instance with the network tag so let's click on this bastion instance scroll down towards the network section it doesn't have any network tags so let's paste that network tag then save click on save 
now it got saved now this uh, bastion instance is having network tags and this network tag we have already added in that firewall rule so now that task will be complete so you can click on check my progress and this will be complete so this is complete now next let's proceed with this the juice shop uh, server serves http traffic create a firewall rule that allows traffic on http uh, tcp 80 port to any address the firewall rule must be enabled for the juice shop instance using a network tag so let's do this let's go to firewall here you can provide any name to this firewall rule select the network direction of traffic will be ingress and uh, the target uh, specify target tags so for target tags copy this and paste it here uh, create a firewall rule that allows traffic on http to any address since it is saying any address so we have to give a year has 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 so this allows any ip address next under tcp this is done you can now click on create once this firewall rule is created you have to add the tag to that uh, juice shop instance so now here go to juice hyphen shop this instance and here we need to add the tag network tag so click on edit here so here under network tags we need to add this network tag so copy this network tag copy this and add it here save uh, now we have updated this uh, instance and it is having this network tag uh, so if we go back if you click on check my progress this should be complete so this is complete now ne next let's proceed with this now uh, next we need to connect to juice shop from the bastion using ssh so for that we need to create a firewall rule that will allow ssh uh, and the tcp port will be 22 from acme mgmt subnet network address so we have to use this subnets network address click on create firewall rule you can provide any name here and the network will be, uh, network you will select that vpc network direction of traffic will be ingress specify targets so the targets tag uh, we will copy from here copy this and paste here next source ip under vpc network so you can find there are two subnets here so we need to use acme the subnet ip address range so as they have said here acme iphon mg empty iphon subnets so this network address we need to use so let's copy this ip range and go back here and add here the tcp it will be 22 now click on create now even this firewall rule is created so we have created three firewall rules and added the network tags in each instance so once this is created so again let's add back to compute engine page here let's go to juice shop so this we have this firewall rule we have created for juice shop so let's go there and add this network tag copy this network tag and click on edit here here you need to add one more network tag so that network tag we need to add click on save so we have updated this uh, juice shop instance and uh, it should be having the tag so network tags it is having two network tags here so let's go back and click on check my progress so this should be complete now so in the compute engine instance page click the ssh button for the bastion host let's go to this compute engine instance page so let's connect let's ssh to this once we connect to this bastion host uh, from there we need to ssh to juice shop so this way we have configured the setup in this way so from bastion server we should be able to ssh to the juice shop here click on authorize so now we are inside the bastion host from here we should be able to ssh to the juice shop let's copy this ip address from here we need to ssh to the juice shop since we have enabled con ssh connection from bastion to juice shop we should be able to access it so as you can see we were able to ssh to the juice shop from the bastion server so let's go back so let's go back to this page and click on check my progress so this should be complete now so the assessment is complete so this is how we build and secure our network in google cloud so what we have done in this lab is actually this was the setup so this is the iep from i 
IAP SSH was enabled for this juice shop instance as well. So we have removed that and we have enabled the SSH from batch tree onto juice shop. So as you can see the difference. So from Bastion VM instance to Juice Shop, we have enabled this SSH and then we have set up the identity aware proxy here from IAP to Bastion. We have completed this complete setup. So that's it for today's lab. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.